Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia news line and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday the 20th of December. India's vice president slams opposition after lawmaker mimics him. Neither India nor US, Nawaz Sharif blames army for Pakistan's woes. And Taliban calls withholding of UN seats illegal. And now for all the details. The chairman of the upper house of the parliament Rajya Sabha and vice president of India Jagdeep Dhankar on Wednesday said that he will not tolerate any insult to the parliament and the dignity of his office. His remarks came as TMC MP Kalyan Banerjee on Tuesday mimicked Dhankar in the parliament complex with Congress leader Rahul Gandhi smiling and recording him. Dhankar said he can tolerate people insulting him but would not tolerate insult on the office of the vice president of India. He also said PM Modi dialed him and expressed great pain over the abject theatrics of some MPs and said he himself is a victim of such insults for 20 years. You used Twitter, official handle of the spokesperson, to demean me, insult me, insult my background as a farmer, insult my position as a jat, insult my position as chairman. Meanwhile, after a key meeting of the India Alliance on Tuesday, senior leaders, including AAP convener Arvind Kejriwal and TMC chief Mamta Banerjee, have proposed the name of Congress President Malikarjun Kharge as the opposition bloc's prime ministerial candidate for the 2024 general elections. Banerjee, however, added that any final decision would be taken after the election. And weeks after New Delhi ordered an investigation to probe the US allegation of India's involvement in assassination plot of Khalistani terrorist Gurpatwan Singh Pannu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said his government will look into any information it receives on the alleged links. In an interview with Financial Times, PM Modi said, India's commitment is a rule of law and if an Indian citizen has done anything good or bad, they are ready to look into it. The United States had linked an Indian government official with the assassination plot and unveiled charges against a man accused of orchestrating the attempted murder of Pannu, a wanted fugitive in India. New Delhi has expressed concern about the linkage and dissociated itself from the plot, saying it would formally investigate the concerns of the United States and take necessary follow-up action on the findings. Amid the upsurge in COVID-19 cases in India, Health Minister Mansukh Mandavi on Wednesday chaired a high-level review meeting over the situation with the health ministers of various states. Advising to remain vigilant, Mandavi has said there should not be any laxity in preparedness against the deadly virus. He urged to initiate preventive measures ahead of year-end festivities and advised to conduct mock drills in all hospitals to ensure readiness in any adverse situation. He said we need to be alert, but there is no need to panic. In this case, COVID-19 is increasing. It can happen. In Kerala, there are cases in Tamil Nadu, in Karnataka, in Goa, there are a little bit of concern. So, there is a new outbreak in front of a new outbreak. There is no problem. First of all, because the variant of this variant, the most important thing is that the most important thing is that फैलने की क्षमता रख रहा है लेकिन माइल्ड डिजीज करता है खांसी जुकाम ही करता है सीरियस डिजीज का इसका स्वरूप अभी तक जितना हम जानते हैं बिल्कुल नहीं है द मीटिंग कम्स आफ्टर सदन केरला रिपोर्टेड थ्री कोविड डेथ्स एंड टू नाइन्टी टू फ्रेश केसेज ओवर द लास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू गवर्नमेंट डेटा देर आर ट्वेंटी थ्री हंड्रेड एक्टिव केसेज अक्रॉस इंडिया वाइल सिक्सटीन डेथ हैव ऑल्सो बिन रिपोर्टेड इन द लास्ट टू वीक्स Among the active cases, Kerala has also reported a case with sub-variant JN1. Former Pakistan PM and PMLN Supremo Nawaz Sharif on Tuesday lashed out at judiciary, accusing them of legitimizing military dictators in the country. Addressing party workers, Sharif said judges Garland the one who break constitution and legitimize their rule. 
Neither India nor the United States and Afghanistan are behind Pakistan's miseries. We are responsible for this, Sharif was quoted as saying by the Dawn News. Pakistan's 75 years of history is marred with coups by powerful military, which during civil elections often decides who will rule the nation of 241 million people. Notably, the three-time Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif was also ousted in a military takeover by General Parvez Musharraf in 1999. Sharif claims the military backed his 2017 ouster as well, bringing Imran Khan to power in elections the following year. Moving on, traders in POK's Muzaffarabad city recently held a shutdown strike against prolonged power cuts and inflated electricity bills. They lamented the situation has become intolerable now. A complete shutdown strike was observed recently by traders in Muzaffarabad city of Pakistan-occupied Kashmir against unannounced load shedding in the region. Locals in the city also joined the demonstrators and said the situation has become intolerable. The government keeps sending them inflated electricity bills despite prolonged power cuts. The region produces around 4,000 megawatts of electricity, but they are not given any benefits. तो मैं आप सब ताजरों को मुबारक बात पेश करता हूं कि आप लोगों ने अपनी अपनी दुकानें बंद की और बंद करने पे मैकमा बरकियात अलू ने आपको मजबूर किया कोई बंदा भी दुकान बंद नहीं करता है क्योंकि हमारा जरिया माश हम सुबह आके दुकान पे बैठते हैं और शाम को घर ले जाते हैं और बच्चों के लिए कुछ ना कुछ लेके जाते हैं इसमें 5 दिनों से जो टेलर हजरात हैं हमारे खुदा का खौफ करें बरकियात अलू ये ना हो कि रब की लाठी जब चले उसमें زلزلے में नेक भी गए थे तो सारे लोग बीच में बिस गए थे तो लिहाजा मैं गुजारिश करता हूं बैकमा बरकियात से बाग इंतजामिया से डीसी साहब बाग नए आए हुए आप जो है ना इस मामले का नोटिस लें इन नवंबर सिविल सोसाइटी एक्टिविस्ट्स इन अ सिंबॉलिक प्रोटेस्ट थ्रू थाउजेंड्स ऑफ इन्फ्लेटेड पावर बिल्स इनटू वाटर बॉडीज बट द पाकिस्तान गवर्नमेंट हैज कंटिन्यूड टू इग्नोर द पीपल्स प्लाइट इन द ऑक्युपाइड टेरिटरी the Taliban on Tuesday declared the UN member's decision to not hand over the Afghanistan seat at the United Nations to its ambassador as illegal and unfair. The UN Credentials Committee has deferred its decision on assigning Afghanistan's seat in the organization to the Islamic Emirate for the third consecutive time. The committee reviewed two conflicting communications regarding Afghanistan's representation at the 78th session of the UN General Assembly, both from Taliban's Foreign Ministry and Nasir Ahmad Faik. The UN was established in 1945 and Afghanistan became its member in 1946. Since seizing power in 2021, there have been ever-increasing restrictions on women and human rights violations by the Taliban leadership. No country has formally recognized Taliban as a legitimate government. Moving on, Som Raj, a farmer from Tarmara village in Udhampur district of India's Jammu and Kashmir, has successfully established a hybrid onion seedling nursery with the support of government authorities. With an initial investment of Rs 15,000, Somraj meticulously prepared onion seed beds and planted the hybrid onion seeds in his field. The yield has surpassed expectations and he has already generated a substantial income. The Department of Agriculture played a crucial role in Somraj's success story by providing him with a water source. Now farmers from various villages are flocking to purchase hybrid-ready onion seedlings from him. हमारा जो काम पहले भी थोड़ा कम चलता था उन थोड़ा ज़्यादा चलेगा हाँ इस साल एक के जी की दिया फिर अगले साल हम कोई दो चार के जी का देंगे इसका जे तलाबी गवर्नमेंट ने दिया था इन्हें एलिगेट बाबू ने ते जे पाली ओस भी लुभाफे भी दिए हैं इनके ऊपर लगाने के लिए ते दुबारा जे बर्मिक मोई भी दिया ये उधमपुर में ये पहली बार किया गया पहले फार्मर अपने ही बी लगाता था पर जो हमारा होलिस्टिक एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम आया जिसके अंतर्गत हमने फार्म को अच्छा जर्म प्लाज्म देना और अच्छे हाइब्रिड बीज देने हैं इसी के अंतर्गत ये एक इनिशिएटिव लिया गया और इसके काफी अच्छे परिणाम मिल रहे हैं दैट्स ऑल इन टुनाइट सेशन वी विल सी यू सेम टाइम टुमारो गुड नाइट
Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.